welcome to my channel. In a dramatic turn of events at the Johannesburg High Court, prosecutor advocate Beloy's credibility is shattered by advocate Charles Nezi in the Sensomaiwa murder trial. Nezi, representing accused number three, unveils a crucial TikTok clip showcasing alleged manipulation in court proceedings. Watch as the truth unfolds, the video reveals accused number two's denial of lawyer Dominic Ngiyoko, who is allegedly linked to the investigating officer, Lieutenant Colonel Bongoni Gininda. The courtroom saga unfolds as advocate Nezi demands the playing of the Boxburg Magistrate's regional court video, challenging Baloi's claims of providing accurate records. Prosecutor advocate Baloi faces scrutiny as Judge Rotter intervenes, demanding the transcripts. Lies are exposed when the judge requests to see the disputed documents. The trial takes an unexpected turn as the judge, despite objections, orders the subpoena of the Boxburg magistrate and interpreter. Yet, Beloy's influence prevails, leading to a surprising postponement to January 26, 2024. Stay tuned until the end to witness the truth emerging in this gripping courtroom drama. If you find this legal expose compelling, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates on the Sensor Maiwa murder trial. Mr. Nisi, any, any questions for the witness? I certainly do have questions, but preliminary. Mm. There are issues that I would like to bring to the attention of the court. <coughs> Which issues are those now? Um, uh, my colleague, Mr. Mgome Zulu, has indicated that uh, there is information that we had a discussion about. It is true. Mm. We had a look at the video that it is, which is in his phone's position, uh, which is played in his phone. So it is imperative in our mind, and we are going to make that application. Then it is most, it is relevant. It's a um, video in whose possession? Mr. Mgome Zulu has got it in his phone. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm saying Mr. Yeah, Gomez yeah, Zulu has got his phone. Yes. And he showed us that clip. Yes. Part of what happened at Bosbeck Magistrate Court. Yes. Which is relevant to the question on, of whether or not Mr. Ntanzi refuted <coughs> the fact that uh, he, he owes no allegiance to Mr. Mjaiya. Okay. Mjaiya. <laughs> Mr. Mchiyako, yes, the attorney, or the alleged attorney in okay. question. We have formulated a very um, a, a, a consented mind around the existence of that video, and our formulation is to the effect that it is very relevant to the testimony that this witness, that uh, Brigadier Kindinda has just rendered to this court, insofar as Mr. Mchaeko having represented accused number two. Okay. As I am about to start with my cross-examination, I feel a little bit constrained to start with it because I also need to refer to that video because part of my cross-examination, my lord, mm. is going to boil around the mandate or the power of attorney that Mr. Mchaeko, uh, Mchaeya, or the attorney, yes, Mjiyako. Mr. Mchiyako, yes. It's going to boil around to the mandate or the power of attorney that Mr. Mchiyako had to represent accused number two, because the court would then, mindful of the fact that throughout the cross-examination of Brigadier Kinira, it's been put to him that no, he had no mandate to represent him. But the video that my colleague has testified mm. I mean, has brought the court's attention to and also indicated that he wants to make an application that it be played here in court is central to that assertion. Yes. I am therefore saying to this court, my lord, that... So you've got a video now? Yes, it is there. <laughs> it's going to be shown on the screen? I'm not so sure whether... Because you're talking about a cell phone. That it can be shown never on the screen. Of a, if it does, of we a don't have a problem. looking at a cell phone. It. Like I'm a member of a social club. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I have never heard a judge perusing a cell phone. Yes. As if I'm a member of a social club. Uh, what I was just about to say, my lord, is that you are still making arrangements. No. I, that if it's possible, I don't then it should be. I don't respond to Mr. 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 Mr.
Mr. Mgumezulu, that he's at liberty to show that video. And I said, he must also address me in the same vein, whether that's evidence playing a video, whether it's evidence of a court. That's all. Uh, I did not I, say that, sir. I, I can I, play that video. No problem. Yes, my lord. I, 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 I do understand, but what I'm saying is, if the court then is, an, is, is, is amenable to the suggestion mm -hmm. that that video can be played here and now, we can, with the leave of court, of course, we can request an amendment that the necessary Sorry. arrangement be made that oh, it should be there, and we lay the basis why it should be paid. Look. I've yes. considered that you may play that video. As it's it's not that court. this court says you can't. Yes. I say you can play that video, but me, I still have to find out whether the law in South Africa says a video recording is yes. part of the evidence of a court. That's all I said. As I'm saying, my lord, yeah. we, would, uh, we would lay the basis yes. why it should be, or it should form part of the record of the proceedings yes, of this court. No yes, problem. no problem. Thank you, my Lord. May no I problem. then be given the opportunity to have a little caucus with our colleague in preparation for the playing of that video as well. Okay, Mr. Baloy. Thank you. <laughs> well, my Lord, the state is going to object you see, no? to the playing of that video. There's only one way of proving court proceedings in section 235. Make 215. No, 235. 235, sorry. Yeah. Yes, 235 makes provision of how court proceedings should be proven. Yeah, I've put a jacket on this. We've handed up Exhibit EE mm. that shows the uh, proceedings mm. at Box Spectre Magistrate Court. Mm. The, the, the only other way, my lord, is to get the, the CD uh, in, 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 in question. We know that this videos can be manipulated. So we're not saying that is a position. But the only way of proving court proceedings will be to get the official recording of the proceedings. Yes, you hear your colleague. Like that too. Mm. I just skipped my mind to address the court on the record of the on, on the transcribed record of the proceedings. Okay, yes. We had actually requested those records from the state, I think it was almost last year, September, October, we gave them a formal letter saying that, can you please furnish us with the transcribed record of the proceedings on that day? Because yeah. we're well aware that the copy of a chat sheet that my colleague is referring to, which is Exhibit EE, that's a handwritten copy. And in that copy, God forbid, magistrates do not write all that what is happening and being said at court. They are trained to write that which they think is necessary for that particular day. But a transcribed record reflects whatever that happens on that day verbatim. I don't know we the have problem not with been it. finished with that information. So, so you're saying the state did not finish you with it? We made a request. To the we state. have not yet received it. Did you write to the official transcriber of the court? Uh, excuse me, madam. The official transcript as subscriber who he, records. Is the court asking whether we wrote to him or? Yes, instead of writing to the state alone, did you also write to the firm? We did not, my lord. Why not? Because the impression given by the state was that that would be made available to us. Okay, the so court did not give us an alternative that in an event that you see two or three weeks elapsing and then you don't receive this information, you welcome to approach the transcribers uh, themselves. The state gave us a legitimate expectation that sooner or later we'll be finished with that information and it didn't. And that's very relevant and is crucial to what is now taking place in this trial, within the trial, particularly with regard to no, no, fine. the issue of Mr. Mziak. Okay, no, no problem. So what, what, so what do we do, Mr. Baloui? Thank you. And you, how do you go about it? 
to obtain the record of that day. To start with, Malo, we, we don't want to start a debate, but the utterances by Advocate <laughs> Nisa are not correct. Mm. The only discussion that we had was with uh, Mr. Ramusipil, and he was merely inquiring if there is a transcribed record, and we indicated to him that this is the transcribed. Uh, or the, the only record of the proceedings that we have for Exhibit E, -E and is, is it in, in cursive? Yeah. It's not typed. Well, we handed both the transcribed as well as the handwritten um, record. So you've got a transcribed yes. record? Well, it, yes, it's the transcribed one, and we also handed up the... So what is the problem if you, you've got a transcribed? Why don't you give it to the council? The, 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 the handwritten one. Well, so they're, sorry, there are two? Yes, there are two, my lord. It's Exhibit EE -E in a transcribed form, and we also <laughs> ended up the hand Exhibit EE? -E yes. In a transcribed form? Yes. You gave it to the councils, yes? Yes. So they have it? Yes, it's, it serves as an exhibit, my lord. So it's a transcribed, and that transcription is by the official recorder of the court? Uh, in, in, indeed, my lord. Okay, and then the other one you say it's a uh, written record. Yes. Is that the one of the magistrate? Yes. When she was sitting? Yes, the, the handwritten one. So you all, of, <laughs> so all of you, you've got the records of what happened that day. The only thing maybe you don't have is the clip, but Mr. They say Mr. Gomezolo has got it in his phone number, in his cell phone. Is that what you're saying? Uh, uh, may I respond? I think Mr. Valo is missing the point when you say he finished us with the transcribed record. Transcription must be from the legitimate transcribers. What he gave us was a copy that is written in shorthand and a typed version of what is contained in the shorthand. There's no transcription. There's no transcription. There's no record that is transcribed. It's only a record that is written in shorthand, which is this one and a record that is a typed version of what is contained in the transcript, I mean in the, in, the, in, the, in the record which is written in a shorthand. And we that, don't have a transcribed record unless he has got it and wants to share Can you show the court to what share you call e exhibit to what? EE. E. Yes, is it e -E. Just show, um, show me the exhibit EE. E. Well, it's the... Let's see. Part of it. Uh, let's see. Gama fuki de matoto wenza kala yo, but you made it with Suma Uti Una in the Buzo Amatan Wibuza O Pedatin Kininda Kotwa. Bakun made and Jenaba made it, Amatanda Uti Lea video. Le ebonisa undanzi eparamisi sanda eti na ara aramfuni la media angatano kuti ida benga pamo kuti abuze imibuzo manje imati abazanya batole amapepa lawa awani ya ngale ya ngale ya danga na yuko chini wakati etaibi we kote mshuti suti bani giwe na amapepa na amanje busa na leo nda ba yuko bani ba ba watola zani ba watola no maganja. I think I'd like to just cut this debate short. We will get the um, we'll get in touch with the Boxback Magistrate Court and see if we cannot get a a CD of, of, of those proceedings. Then we can all. Who was the magistrate that day? Havenga. Havenga, yes. Is he still a magistrate? Yes, he is. Yeah. Then the court will have to call him. Is he still a magistrate? Yes. Well, I, I assume so, my lord. Oh, well, uh, assume. Yeah, I, I'll have to check. Yeah. So he was the presiding magistrate? Yeah, indeed. And who was the prosecutor? Just myself. Right, and who was the interpreter? Um, the interpreter cannot remember. I think it's the lady. The, the, the lady Ms. Who, Ms. Mufuking? Yes. Is that the lady? Testified, yes. Okay, oh, let's, call, Mutapin, 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 yes. let's call Mr. Havenga. Is it a lady or a gentleman? The magistrate? Uh, it's a gentleman. Also. It's a gentleman? Yes. Right. And obviously, you can't give evidence. And then the, the interpreter is still around.
Yes, it's Ms. Mutlapin. We'll just have to check. Uh, there was there were various appearances. Yeah. And we just have to check. I thought. Wait, wait. I thought it is. It's, it, it's in connection with the first appearance. Is that not so, Mr. Minister? That's correct. The first yes. appearance in the regional court. Hello. Yes. Twenty-seven. Is that it? Are we agreed on that? Can you make arrangements for the? Yes. We'll you know what? Actually, you must issue an official subpoena yes. for Mr. Miss <coughs> Mr. Havenga and the interpreter, an yes. official subpoena through the process of the court, so that if this case goes somewhere else, they must, they must know that this court ordered that he must, <laughs> they must be subpoenaed. So that what they say must be part of the record of these proceedings. Okay. Uh, as a court, please. But perhaps we're going to suggest that we first get the the disc. Yeah, fine, all, fine, fine. We fine. all listen to it, and perhaps it might not be necessary for Mr. Avenkar to yeah, come fine. and testify. Okay. But if those issues cannot but be. But Mr. Munizi says he doesn't want to begin anything without having seen that video. He says he can. I, I, I said I'm constrained by that. Yeah, constraint is an English way of saying I, I, won't, I won't do it. No. I understand I English very well, but I've got four courses in English. Four. Oh. So you're constrained. That's what you're saying. Thank you, my So you won't, you won't cross examine before. I missed the point of the transcript, transcript record. Are we going to be provided with the transcript record? Which court are you attending, Ms. Mshalod? <laughs> uh, We've been saying, talking here, everybody's listening, and you haven't heard anything. My apologies. Oh, no. That's why I, I, so that we can be able to engage the state on that order, that we must be provided with the transcript record. Mr. Baloui, when are you going to make the, the arrangements of getting the disc, as you say? Yes. Um, we, we will commence with those arrangements immediately, and um, I'll get in touch with my colleagues. I'm sure it can be done overnight. Um, and but in the meantime, Mr. Miss, can you continue with your cross-examination and reserve the cross-examination of the, the video or the recording clip? Is it possible? My cross-examination was basically central. The details of my cross-examination was around Uchania and, and, and the mandate that we had. So, Mr. Ma Gomez Zulu, you say you've got that video. Where did you get it from? Hello? It was just a TikTok. What? Yeah, this is why I'm, I'm having problems with the uh, evidence being gleaned from TikTok. That's why I wanted to make it a formal request from SAPC. Mm, who's the gentleman in charge of that uh, contraption, the recording of the proceedings? Here? Was it? Was it the same firm which was in charge in in Boxbeck on the 27th of yeah. April? Yes. Sir. Hello. Uh, I don't remember often, my lord. Yeah. But, uh, I should be with Verbatim or Sneller. Uh, Sneller sure. or? Yeah, Verbatim, one of those companies. But that we can find out. Now. So, what is the dispute about? Is that the fact that uh, the gentleman? The, Mr. Gomez put it to this court that, uh, in fact, accused, accused number two raised an objection yes. in court to say he doesn't want uh, this uh, Mr. Mjiako. Yeah, to act for him on the 27th. Yes. Did Mr. Mjiako subsequently also add, for instance, on the 28th, 9, yes. 10? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. This is what is strange. You know, he did yeah, because if I chase and fire a lawyer today, in subsequent and then he comes again, I fire him again yes. the tomorrow. Yes. It must be common sense. Yes. So he did he subsequently also appear? Yes. But and he even went to Rustenberg, yeah, appearing and cocaine yeah. also. Yes. Is, that, is that the evidence you, you have of you? 
Yes, I think on the, the, the court will see on Exhibit EE, after the 27th, he did appear at subsequent proceedings, and he, he then uh, <coughs> submitted a letter. <sighs> a letter was submitted on his behalf, indicating that he was withdrawing from the proceedings. But that was after the, the appearance of the 27th of October. Mm. Wait, 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 yeah. The court will see on the 27th that he yeah. refused to enter the witness box. He refused to enter? Yes. The witness's uh, box? Yes. I'm sorry, the accused box. Yeah, sorry, okay, yeah. On the, on, on the 27th. Oh, Jackson, my Lord, I don't know whether the stage is testified. No, 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 no but this is not. This, this is what is recorded here. It's, 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 wait, 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 wait. Digital recording. All accused refuse to enter accused dock. This is written by a magistrate. He's not giving evidence, gentlemen. Rights to legal aid, legal representation, explained. Accused number one refuses to respond. Accused number three, I don't know why I am here. Our constitutional rights are not being considered. Accused number four, I do not see the necessity of having an attorney. Accused number five, I also do not see the need. Then it is signed by additional magistrate, uh, Avenga. That's what the record says. And I think on behalf of case number two, um, there, there's an entry there that Mr. Mjiako. What, what about it? Appears on behalf of case number two on the 27th. On the 27th. I, I don't have the right. The no, no, I have it here. Date, the 27th October 2020, Presiding Officer Mr. H. Havenga, Public Prosecutor Advocate G. Baloi, Interpreter Madam Mashaba, Defense, Accused 1 in person. Accused 2, Mr. Ndogozum Giaco of Giaco Atenis. Accused 3 in person. Accused 4 in person. Accused five in person. This is the record of the project. Just give it. Hello. Hello. Rose. Give it because they will see all them. They do have the yes. exhibit. No, no, no. They said they don't have these things. Just give them. Okay. Uh, I, I confirm on behalf of Accused One and Two, we do have exhibit B. We are privy to. Were you in court, sir? On, on that day? On the 27th. Mm. No, I was not yeah, on record. Because there. the magistrate says there was only one attorney, Mr. Mjiak, for accused number two. I mean, the record of the proceedings says so. It's not me. I'm but reading. That, that, like Mr. Muni, uh, Advocate Munisi has said, my lord, and I stand by that. That's the summation of the magistrate of what transpired that day. The actual transcribed record will show us behind those answers. No, no, fine. No, no. Look, I don't have a problem. I just, yes. find, I just find it strange that here is a magistrate who knows a bit of the law, or the law, he knows it better than me. He makes. He makes, he, he makes, in the record he writes, he writes that accused number one does not want to cooperate. And here, when accused number two is firing his lawyer, he doesn't write that. Just, just read that. He talks about accused number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Not and the most one. important thing, where accused number two fires Mr. Mjiako, he doesn't note it. I'm just, I'm just saying it's strange to me. Let, let's then agree with the state that the actual <laughs> CD will tell us what transpired. Fine, yeah. Yes. But you guys say you can't proceed because the film is not being seen. And you know, hello, how many years are these uh, discs supposed to be kept? Because well, that's, what, which year was it? 2020 is 2024. Usually, according to the Archives Act, I think it's about five years or five so. Five years. They, they should still be available. Okay, fine. So you want us to adjourn? Uh, it is actually not a want, my lord. Of course, it's a want. You are constrained. And you want us to adjourn because you can't, you can't, you can't participate in the proceedings without first having viewed 
the video. That's what I thought you said. Uh, okay, let's adjourn until tomorrow. So, what are you going to do when, when you adjourn? Yes? <laughs> Immediately uh, get on the phone, my lord, uh, and make the arrangements and try to get the list here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Till then, cheerio. Thanks for watching. Till then, cheerio.